So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex one here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a TCG Mega Tin 2017 complete spoiler list for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I understand that there's a lot of YouTubers already that's been covering up what's gonna be on the tin, speculating on some of the cards that's gonna be in the tins, but I, I decided to actually wait until the list is fully confirmed and of course shout out to the Italian Yu-Gi-Oh page for actually giving us the complete list so if you guys check them out on Facebook that'll be absolutely amazing so I'll give you guys my thoughts on what I believe uh, on about these tins if, if I think whether or not the tin is worth investing and some of the cards that are notable and some of the cards that are actually pretty good in these tins so without further ado let's get started before I start this video I just want to let you guys know that my local dollies is selling mega tins for 1770 Canadian on pre-orders if you guys convert that into US that's around $14 USD per Megaton. So that's really, really cheap. So if you guys want to get your Megaton today, make sure you guys get it from dollies.ca. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So, so make sure you guys get your Megatons before the prices goes up. So make sure you guys get it at dollies.ca. I'll leave the pre-order link to the in the description. I'll leave the pre-order link in the description box below. So, and by the way, guys, just another quick announcement. If you guys love road chalices and things like that, and you guys want to support the channel, I have made a brand new road chalice playmat. I'll showcase you guys a picture right here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. If you you guys want to get your you know you know world child's play map today make sure you guys message me on my facebook page i do free shipping to canada and usa international shipping will cost extra so if you guys want to get your world child's play map make sure you guys message me on my facebook page and i take paypal only so without further ado, let's just start with the list real quick. So let's start off with the secret rares. So for the secret rares, it comes with 15 cards. Uh, Ultra rare comes with 15 cards as well. And of course, uh, the super rare comes with uh, 15 cards. So 15, 15, 15. And these are, you know, the reprints that's in the Dark Illusions, Invasion of Vengeance, and of course, the Raging Tempest. Nothing for Maximum Crisis is going to be in here. Uh, so this is pretty awesome. So let's start off with the very first card. We got Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. A really good reprint. Uh, you know, this card can actually see a lot of play within the future, especially the decks that, uh, you know, heavily rely on using, uh, you know, a, a card in the extra deck. And especially ABCs are going to become really meta relevant really soon once True Dracos uh, die down a little bit. ABCs are, are going to become the top meta deck. So Ghost Reaper is one of those cards that you can easily invest in. And it's a really good reprint uh, that's coming out of the Mega 10. So I'm happy the Reaper is in here. Johnny Mirror Force, another good reprint right here. Blue Eyes Twin Dragon, Dark Magical Circle, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, a really good reprint, Magician's Navigation. Okay, guys, the thing that I don't like about these reprints is that, like, they reprinted collector stuff. Like, you know, like, these stuff are really expensive, uh, like, you know, off like just the original cards already like blue eyes twin burst dark magical circle and magician navigation are really expensive cards uh on their own but you know since they're reprinted now uh the value is definitely going to drop but in my personal opinion these are going to be still money cards uh because they're dark magician and they're blue eyes they're collector's item and they're one of the decks that people would always sought off uh after so i definitely think that dark magical circle magician navigation and blue eyes twin burst dragons are really good to actually invest in because they're like fan favorite cards right uh so it's a really good thing that they got reprinted but you know like knowing me i have original copies of these cards so i didn't want them to get reprinted but of course it's a good thing that for casual players and for those of you who are uh, on a budget it's a really good thing that konami were able to reprint navigation circle and of course the blue eyes twin burst dragon and in addition to that cosmic cyclone is also a really good reprint because it's one of the best uh you know uh, spawn track card removal in today's meta so far sorry metal fusion dragon okay totally awesome really amazing okay we also got dimensional berry one of the great cards that's in the set last year in the 2016 10s we were looking after solemn strikes but now we're able to actually have an on, uh, you know, our hands on dimensional barrier, totally awesome, causing cyclones and things like that. Uh, you know, and you know, with the Zodiac Broadbow Dryden Barrage, be careful when investing in these cards right here because 100%, let me tell you guys right now, uh, on the ban list, they're gonna get hammered, hammered, hammered. I mean, looking after the OCG ban list, 100%, Zodiac is gonna get destroyed. And it's not gonna be like Dryden and Barrage banned, it's gonna be like Broadbow and Dryden and Barrage are definitely gonna be destroyed in the ban list, in my personal opinion uh so definitely guys watch out when you're investing in these cards maybe pick it for like a major event this t this set comes out before YCS Toronto so if you're going to YCS Toronto recommend picking it up for really cheap but I, I don't recommend you holding on to these cards because 100% Zodiacs are going to be gone after this list anyways uh so yeah that's my that's my personal thoughts on them well, Foolish Burial of Goods, Full Force Virus and the Sea Monster of Thessius pretty good reprints right here these cards are already really common to get Sea Monster of Thessius and of course Full Force Virus always good to have another uh, you know, reprint version of these cards so that way that like, casual players things like that have more access to these cards and also Foolish Burial of Goods I feel like this card may be actually really good within the near future so one of the good cards that you can 
you know easily invested uh, you know maybe there's decks in the future that heavily rely on spawn trap card effects in the graveyard so full burial goods can actually um, utilize itself within those type of decks so you know that's pretty much it for the secret rares some of the notable secrets that i would like to point out is definitely cosmics uh dark magical circle navigation ghost reaper um and of course the cyclones like these cards are just really good cards especially totally awesome dimensional barrier is just really good i don't completely remember on what is uh in the 2016 megaton but one of the cards that we we were looking after and just trying to search for in the 2016 was just solemn strikes uh, i remember there's cards like what is it uh cyber dragon infinity and things like that but overall i really think that the secret Wars is just more dominant and just more way more better in 2017 uh more better than 2016 megaton in my personal opinion we got d bears that's totally awesome we have half the zodiac core right here for the extra deck and the barrage was one which is one of the most expensive cards uh in the deck before like barrage right in broad bowl so it's really good to have reprints of those and you got cosmics the circles and navigation like oh man like the secret rares overall i believe dominates the 2016 mega 10 let me know what you guys thoughts and opinions on what you guys believe which secret is better you know the 27 2017 secrets or the 2016 secrets let me know in the comment section below let's go off to the ultra wars real quick uh okay we got dragon spirit of white okay we got the white stone of ancient these cards were already reprinted in the kaiba uh i believe in the legendary decks the kaiba uh, joe and, 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 and yugi legendary decks so you know, really good to have those reprinted again. Lecter Pendulum, Drag Overlord, Starter Cypher, Divine Dragon, Ma Masterpiece, the True Dragon Slayer, the regular Masterpiece, not the Blessed Masterpiece, okay? Okay, we got True King, uh, the Vanisher. So we got a, a reprint on the Fire True King. One of the most expensive cards uh, to play in Dinosaur so far is the Fire True King. So having access to this reprinted version is pretty good for casuals and those of who and for those of you who are on a budget. So that's pretty good. That's a really no good notable reprint right there. Shrew New Solitaire, really great reprint. Uh, one of the most expensive cards right now to play in the Shrew New Zombies. I believe that these, this card peaked at around $15 Canadian at one point or even $20 uh, Canadian. So having these cards to, you know reprinted is just really good so that's another good notable reprint block dragon met floodgate trap hole is I, my personal opinion is soon to be one of the best cards uh right now for those of you who do not know what floodgate does it basically flips the monster base down especially when your opponent special summons a monster to the extra deck zone other than lake monsters you can activate you know floodgate trap hole to basically flip that monster face down and you know you obviously can't link summon with monsters face down so they're basically locked from using their extra deck if they have a face down card uh in the extra monster zone but the only thing that this card does not work against is uh link monsters so you know against zodiacs once they summon their first broad bow boom floodgate trap hole them you literally lock them from the extra deck uh, which is absolutely crazy so uh floodgate trap was really good true king uh the F uh, fatomer okay so this is the water true king Really good reprint as well. This card is already relatively really cheap. Metaphors, but uh, okay. Zodiac Throwblade, Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, Zodiac Tiger Mortar, and Dark Contract with the Entities. Uh, in my personal opinion, the Ultra Rares is isn't that great as the Secret Rares. It was it's it's man the most. I believe that last year was a little bit better. We got cards like Manbuku in there. Um, I, I, I don't recall what are the other cards in the 2016 Megaton as the in, in the ultra rare section, but uh, I, I believe they're they might it might be better or it might be you know par or or just similar to uh, the 2017 Megatons. But some of the notable reprints in the ultra rares are definitely Solitaire and of course the uh, the True King right here uh, and the Floodgate Trap Hole. So these are all, are the only three cards I believe that are pretty good uh, in the reprints uh, section in my personal opinion. The other that, other than that, meh. Let's go off to the super rares. We got Preparation of Rice. We got uh, Priest of the Eyes of Blue, um, Magician of Dark Illusion, Magician's Rot, Toon Dark Magician, Metamorph Formation, the Field Spell card, Metaphor's Fusion, Metaphor's Combination, Paleozoic Anomalocaris, the Phantom Knights of Rank Up Magic Launch, Full Metaphor Fusion, Paleozoic Ophibedia, Rapier, Whip Tail, and Shrew King Lithogasm, Lithosagin, the Disaster. There's, oh my goodness, guys, there's not really a, a lot of good reprints in the super rare section and in the super rare department, in my personal opinion. But some of the cards that are notable is definitely the True King Lithosagium, the Disaster, a really good reprint um, for the super rare section. And maybe the people average you to write as well. Might, might see a lot of plays in ritual uh, based decks or become more relevant in, in, uh, in the metagame. So, uh, yeah, those are the only two notable cards that are in here. Uh, pre prep and of course the true king like those and the disaster and let's go off uh through the the um the rares real quick speed roy denkai duke speed roy okay uh tentamete spirit of fall wind high speed roy puzzle these are just like the fusion there's not i, I don't know if there's any really good no notable uh what's it called rares in here uh thunder king the lightning strike kaiju okay that's that's pretty good but last year we had gamma seal 
uh, which is really, really phenomenal. Uh, so, you know what I mean? Like, last year, we were already blessed. We already got Lost Win in here, too. Okay, so Lost Win. Uh, what is it called? Lost Wind and definitely uh, Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaijus are really good notable reprints in here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look for anything else that are really, really good in here. And uh, there's, not, there's not a lot of things that are really great in the rare section other than Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju and also uh, the Lost Wind. So definitely, I, I think last year was way better because we did have the Gamma Seal. So let's just go off to the, uh, the commons real quick. Commons is not... Eh, it, it, it isn't really too important, uh, but I... You know, believe that you guys should just uh, take a look at it anyway. So let me see if there's any good, uh, notable commons in here. Oh, I think Fairy Tail Snow must be in here. I think Fairy Tail Snow. Oh, we got Paleozoic cards. You know, you can build a really cheaper Paleozoic deck if you guys would want. But the deck is already cheap within itself. So, nah. Uh, Missing that source. Okay. Uh, we also got Fairy Tail Rella. Oh, Fairy Tail Snow. Yes. See, like, look, look at that. See, look at that. See, look, I, I, I know. I know Fairy Tail Snow is definitely near. So, that's the only thing. That's the only good comment in my... Per oh, and Gofu. Okay. This card may, may get destroyed on the, on the balance soon, though. But Gofu and definitely Fairy Tail Snow are really good common reprints in uh, the comp in, in the comment section. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yep. So, in the rares. So, Fairy Tail Snow and, of course, Gofu in the comments. Uh, what is it called? Um, we also got Thunder King and Thunder King and... Thunder King and also what is it called? Lost Wind in in the uh, in, in the rare section. We also got super rares, Little Sajim and uh, Little Sajim and Premier Original Rights. Really good cards. And then this one you got the three True King, Shuni Solitaire, and Floodgate. And in the secret rare department is just really great with totally awesome D Barrier, which is Navigation, Cosmic, Dark Magical Circle, Twin Reaper. Like it's just over. These cards are just really, really amazing. So that's pretty much it for my video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this Megaton. Do you guys think it's better than 2016 Megaton? If you guys think it's better, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys want to see the Megaton 2017 opening. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. Get your uh what's it called world child's play map today and this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace